Okay, something a little bit different now. This is an, uh, an electric heater. Not exactly high, high level tech, this, is it? It's a fan that blows air through a hot element. That's it. Um, what I was after, uh, because I work from home a couple of days a week, or maybe one, you know, one, two, three days a week, uh, I was, uh, since we moved house, I, I, we, we now have floorboards rather than carpet. And uh, that obviously is d difficult acoustically, uh, but it's also quite cold some of the time too, the, on the floor. So if I if sat at a desk all day working at home, I find I found that my feet and bottom of my legs were getting freezing. I know that makes me sound like a really old, like, old person or something. It's kind of like, oh, my feet are cold. But um, I thought, well, I'll get myself a, a little heater. So I went on to Amazon and had wanted to have specifically have a look for something that wasn't kind of like, you know, megawatts or wasn't even like one kilowatt or two kilowatts. I wanted something that was in the region of about 500 watts so that if it was left running for a long period of time, wouldn't you use too much power? And I didn't need it to heat the whole room just to kind of heat under my desk and keep my feet warm. This is what I came up with. Sorry about the little um, story there to go with the video. And this is the I don't know how you pronounce it. I'll put it up on screen. It's on the video. The Dow Dower do do her do he. I don't know how you pronounce it. And it's uh, just it's just an electric heater. On the top here we have our controls for on and off. Uh, sorry, on off. And it has a low high setting, which I think is 950 watts or 650 watts. It doesn't change the speed of the fan. It just changes the element. And then we have fan setting, which means that it turns the hot element off and just blows air. Fine, whatever. And uh, then we have a swing function. This is about 20 quid, all right? So I wasn't expecting any kind of uh, miraculous device. Uh, but does it work? Yes, it does, pretty much. It, it, it heats and it, it actually does a pretty good room, a pretty good job of heating the room I'm in now. If you shut the door, leave it on for a few minutes and come back in, it's a marked difference as to the heat in the room. So yes, this little thing can heat a room. Uh, it's it's fine. It, how, however, there's just certain stuff that doesn't don't sort of fill me with confidence. And when it comes to having a heater, you like to be filled with confidence, don't you? Because this, this is a potential fire hazard. Otherwise, I'm not saying this particular heater is a fire hazard. I'm just saying that you you know what I mean. Anyway, first thing that I looked on Amazon and saw that other people got, get branded boxes with this device. I didn't get a branded box, I just got this this box saying Elektrische Heizlüfter. Uh, yep, not, so this is clearly just being shipped in a standard distributor, you know, obviously the main manufacturer, whoever that is, um, Guangdong, Guangdong Shunda. They ship them out to various distributors or resellers or whatever, and Duha or her Dauhi are obviously one of those, and they've just sent this out, and they have run out of their own branded boxes, and I've just got it in a crappy little box like this. So, well, while that makes absolutely no difference really as to the product, it's always a bit worse, isn't it, when you get something in a in a in a crap box. Second thing, it's quite quite plasticky but it, again it's just a really simple device isn't it this is all metal around the front of course uh, second thing is the swing function which is this at the bottom here this this rotates so the whole heater the whole heater moves backwards and forwards like that I'm not a big fan of that because obviously the cable is constantly flexing like this backwards and forwards but anyway it doesn't work um, it, it didn't work when it came it kind of I turned it on for the first time and it went ee. It looked like a little robot trying to move along or something like that. And then it just stopped and it hasn't worked since. And now it's just totally locked up. I reckon if I took it apart, it's probably just the little things jammed inside or something and you get it working fairly easily. But I don't want to, I'm not going to bother doing that because I don't want it to swing anyway. It's fine. And um, also, it's really noisy, this thing. I mean, it's obviously whenever air is pushed through anything, there is going to be noise generated. That's just how physics works, I suppose. You're gonna get noise generated, but this thing is really loud. You know, I would like to have it on in the evening sometime if I'm watching something on my uh, on my PC or something like that. And um, 
I have to have the 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 audio track on the on the whatever I'm watching so loud because this is just and I'll show you that now because I'm gonna t I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on and you can hear how loud it is. It's only got just about got enough cable to stretch. It's got a switch on the back here. How nice of them to put a switch on the back. It does seem to pass all safety regulations, i.e., it's got a it's got the relevant certification there on the side. So I mean. It's got, it's, somebody's managed to print a label off, so it must be, it must be all right. And uh, let's turn it on. Yeah. Probably doesn't sound too bad, but you've got your little light, see the little red light on the front there? When it's on high, when it's on high, that's red. When it's on low, it's on a very dim red. And when it's on fan, it's on blue, like that. So that's now just blew the element off entirely. So there we go. Put that on high. And um, yeah, that's heated up nicely and is now pumping out some really rather hot air. So that's, that's using 950 watts at the moment. But it is quite loud. When you turn it off at the top here, it has a nice little delay. So it allows air to carry on blowing through the element while it cools and then turns off after about 15 seconds or so. Mm. Hello. There we are. So I probably wouldn't recommend that you just turn it off at the back here. But this, I mean, realistically, it's a plastic cover. Looks like what? It looks like just a little PC fan in there or something like that. Element, casing, 20 quid. I wouldn't really expect to pay much more than that for it. A real simple design, but it is quite tidy and it is nice and small. Shame it didn't work properly out of the box, but hey-ho, get what you pay for. I hope it's safe. Uh, if you never get any more videos from me again, it's probably because my house has burnt down. Anyway, there you go. That's the uh, Doohy Dower. I think it's sold under a couple of different brands. I'll put links to it in the uh, video description if you're after something like this. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Any questions, please ask. But I don't think you'll have any questions about a, a heater. Speak to you soon. Bye.